Okay, I'm going to show you a sample of the minimum requirements for the final project. This is a simplified game of war with a cards class. And we have the main war method as well. And when we run it, you will have two decks of cards. And every time you click, it's going to pull a card. It's actually pulling it from the bottom of the deck, moving it to the center, and comparing the two cards. Whichever card is higher gets the point. And so you can see, now I don't think we may not get a tie in this one, but if there's a tie, nothing happens. No points change. So the cards layout is pretty similar to what we did for the memory game. We've just I've changed it so we've got 20 cards. You need to do all 52. We've added an additional value called MP. It's coming in as MP, but here it's my points. So each card stores the point value of the card at its face since we're going through each of the different suits we have to declare how many points are each and we're going to count jacks as 11 queens as 12 and kings as 13 so that they compare correctly um, we have a display which loads the image and we have a set x which moves the card to the center and flips it over so you see the face so when we're clicking here, that's what's happening. We're taking the card off the back of the deck, actually flipping it over and moving it into the center. And then we have get points, which returns the point value of the cards so that it can compare the left card to the right card to see who wins. In the war side, our setup, we've got our background. We have a my x1 and my x2 because each pile has its own x value and then moves them to the center. Um, we've set the size. This is pretty straightforward. When we're creating our arrays, my current points, because I'm only doing 10 cards of each, is going to 10, and that's resetting it to 1. So it's counting 1 through 10 and then starting over so that the point values match the face value of the card. So an ace is 1, 2 is 2. Now to put them in the two piles, we are checking to see if our I value is divisible by two without a remainder. This is the modulus function, and what we're checking is to see if there's a remainder. Two divided by two equals zero. That would go in the even pile. Two div three divided by two would leave a remainder that would go in the odd pile. And so we're going to increment my y by adding two to it, my x1 by adding two, my x2 by adding two. This is making us have what that's doing by incrementing by two pixels, each new card is going to come in two pixels lower and two pixels further to right. It gives us this illusion of dimension. And the whether they're odd or even is going to determine if it's in the X1 or X2, because if it's evenly divisible, it's going to be in the X1 um, one pile, otherwise it's going to be in the X2 pile. Again, that's just forming our two piles. We shuffle it a couple times, and then we display the cards on the screen. Um, here, we're just checking to see if we've won. We're comparing, then, if left deck this is greater than 19, that means I've gone through all of the cards, because left deck is my index for the left deck. Right deck is my index for the right deck. So when we've hit the end of the cards, when it's greater than 19, we will check to see which side has more points. On the mouse clicked, if you're clicking on the red box, we have left deck where we set the X to 190, right deck setting the X to 310. And this is the index for my card. So again, what's happening here is when I click this, it sets this X value here, this X value here, and it's actually moving the cards from the back of the deck, flipping them over and putting them in the new stack. We're incrementing by two because um, the odd ones are going up one, three, five, seven. The even ones are going up zero, two, four, six, eight. So left deck starts 
at one, write deck starts at zero, and we add two to them each time um, to increment to the next. When we run out of cards, that's how we know to check if you've won. Our shuffle is almost the same as it was in the memory game, except you have to move the point value with the face value so that they stay tied together. So that is your simplest version. If you do this one, you need to do all 52 cards.